Hello YouTube, my name is Harper and today I am going to do something that all men are going to hate me for, except for gay men, because I'm talking about zodiac signs. Ah! I know Eugene from BuzzFeed did this with that girl with the bangs, who I really think is cute, but I don't know what her name is, but like, I've always wanted to do this, so I'm not stealing it from him. So basically for this video, I'm just gonna sit here and talk about like what I do like, what I don't like, and I'm gonna give them like a rating up from like 1 to 10, 1 being the best. It doesn't end on 10, it's definitely 12 of them. <laughs> 1, wh I don't know, wait, if you're watching this, I think 1 is over, 1 to 12. And then at the end, I will give you the full rating, but let me write this down, because I don't know how to organize things. So. Let me fix this. There's too much headspace. Is this right? So, the first sign is Aries. Um, Aries... I just... I do not like Aries. They're fucking horrifying. Like, okay, basically Aries, they're like... They're energetic, they're childish, they're really impulsive, they're aggressive, they're like the scariest people on earth. The Aries that I've met have either been super angry or super crazy. Like, I know one Aries and she's currently in jail. Another Aries I know, she's just always mad. She's always mad about something. Aries just need to, they don't know how to chill out. They do not know how to chill out and I feel so bad for them because I feel like they're always just full of like burning rage in their chest. So they're gonna be, right now, they're definitely at the end of my fucking list. You know, I never mentioned what I liked about Aries. I like their ability to go out and get what they fucking want because it's fucking amazing. Like, they they will literally, they don't give a single fuck. They just like, if they want something, they'll go get it done. They want ketchup at McDonald's, they will go and get that shit from the front counter. Like, they don't give a fuck and I love that. So Tauruses, I love Tauruses. Every Taurus that I've met, except for like maybe a couple, cause like everyone's a fucking Taurus because I don't know why, I know so many Tauruses and they're all just very nice people. Tauruses are very like easygoing, but they're very stubborn, and like that can, that differs between person to person. So I've dealt, I've dealt with like a couple of areas who are just like straight up assholes with how stubborn they are, but there are some who are like more open minded. Tauruses are just like very like they don't get worked up about stuff, and they get angry. Like it's not very like in your face angry. It's like very like I'm pissed. It's fine. They're just so laid back, and they like food. They like to eat, um, and it's cute. Tauruses are just very cute. I want to like hug a lot of Tauruses. Only some of them, because there are some Tauruses who are bad people. But anyway, Tauruses can be like mom friends, but like not in a comforting way. Like they'll be like, did you eat today? And I'll be like, yeah. And they're like, eat more. They're like grandmothers. I don't understand, but it's cute. So Tauruses are going to be very high on my list because I do enjoy a good Taurus. So the next one, I believe, <sighs> Gemini. It's Gemini season right now. It's today and today is the start of Gemini season. Gemini's. I met Gemini's who I really liked. I never met Gemini I, did, I didn't like because they're the whole like Gemini stereotype that they're like two-faced assholes, which like they aren't. They just don't show their motives. Like most people don't do that. My dog just left the room because I'm too fucking loud. Gemini's just they're always like very they're sociable. If you get them to start talking, they will start fucking talking. Gemini's do not shut the fuck up. Like, every Gemini I know, like, there are some who are, like, quiet at first. Once you get them talking, they will go on and on and on and on and on. A couple of Gemini's that I know, like, a, um, they're, they're, they get very fixated on things. Like, they have, like, obsessions with, not obsessions, but, like, they have very, like, niche interests. And they, like, talk about that forever. I know a few people like that. Um, and it's very cute. I enjoy it. They're, they just, like, they just don't shut the fuck up. Which is nice sometimes. Because they have, they have stuff to say. It's not like they're talking nonsense. They just, you know... I have nothing, I've had a couple bad experiences with the Geminis because like when it comes to like conflict, they're kind of always bitches. Like they don't know how to deal with conflict. Like they think they don't know how to deal with it, but like either they like push it like under the rug and they're like, you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, they'll be mad at you forever. Or like they'll try and lay everything on you to make you feel bad. I don't fucking know what their deal is. They just don't like to, they don't like to deal with issues that they brought on themselves. Um, and that's fucking tea. So Gemini's, I'll put them higher than Aries for fucking sure, but like, you know. Um, the next one I believe is, uh, Cancer? Yeah, I think. Cancers, okay. I have a Cancer moon, so I have a soft spot for all Cancers because they're just, Cancers, either you really get good ones or bad ones. I think every Cancer man that I've met has been like, I don't want to say malleable, but they're like always pushovers, but like not in a bad way. It's like, I never feel afraid of Cancer men. Like, I'm usually afraid of men. But cancer men are just so like, 
they're just comfortable to be around. Like, I just feel, and this is, I'm trying to think, there's so many cancer men that I've been around, and I'm like, you guys are just so, I'm not afraid of you. I love it. Like, uh, I can be friendly with them and, like, joke around, and they won't get offended, or if they do, they don't tell me. They're just so, they're, like, soft. They're all, like, soft boys. Cancer girls on the other side. Um, they're all bitches. Cancer girls are bitches. And here's why. Because cancers are fucking emotional as hell. And you know, emotional doesn't always equal bitchy, but like cancers, they like feel helpless all the time. So they always ask for like people to do stuff for them. And they just get super annoying. And they get mad when like, when, like their needs aren't met because like they can take care of their damn selves. Um, I'm kind of talking about myself right now because I, I do have, I, my cancer mood is very strong. So don't worry. I am just talking to myself. But like for real, it's just like, they just, they just don't know how to like deal with conflict without fucking crying or like just breaking down completely. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I'm just self-roasting. Anyway, cancers, they're like fine, but I don't know how I deal with them, but they're definitely above Aries. Anyway, enough of that. Leos! So Leos, um... Leos have very strong personalities. Very. And I don't say this with a grain of salt. I don't really know what that fucking means. Hold on, let me Google it. It means to use something with skepticism or not interpret it literally. Every Leo is so different from the other one, but like it's because they're so like focused on focused in on themselves. I feel like they they know themselves really well. Like they know what they like, they know who they are, they know their values, their morals. And they're stubborn as hell because of it. It's like if you don't agree with a Leo. You you wrong. You're wrong. Literally Leo could be like five plus one is seven and you could be like no it's six. They'd be like, no it fucking isn't. And you can't argue with them. They're a lot for me. I feel like there are some ways I can be around for a while, but I'm still kind of like, you are draining the energy out of my fucking soul. Leo's definitely above below cancers. I can't deal with them. Like I I feel like I don't like Leo's, I just don't I don't like being around Leo's. Like, I, well, there's one Leo I like, but anyway, enough about Leos before I get my ass in trouble. My favorite thing about Leos, though, is that they are very, they're creative. Once they know themselves and how to express themselves, they can be very creative. So that's the fucking tea about Leos. Virgos! I fucking hate Virgos! I fucking, I fucking hate Virgos. I hate Virgos. And here's why. Y'all are bitches! Y'all never know when you're wrong. And when you're wrong, you don't give a fuck. Like, it's just they never can admit when they're wrong because they're so perfectionist. And it's like embarrassing for them when they're incorrect. So they just protest that they're correct all the time, even though they know damn well they're not. But, whew, my father is a Virgo. And he is such a fucking Virgo. He's so goddamn stubborn. He tries to get everything correct. When he gets it wrong, he just gets mad at everybody else. Like, literally, ugh. And this bitch in one of my classes was a Virgo too. And she was so goddamn annoying because here's what happened. We would have like discussions in class and like someone would prove her wrong and she'd be like, well, your mom's a hoe. Like she literally just did not accept when she was wrong. Like Virgos are so fucking irritating. Like grow the hell up. Anyway, Virgos are also very organized and can get things done on a timely fashion. They're usually not late to things and they're usually very like knowledgeable of what's going on. So I give them that. But otherwise, y'all fucking suck, die. You are below Aries. Suck a dick. After Virgo, I believe is Scorpio? No, it's Libra. I love Libras! And that's because I'm an Aquarius and we're compatible as hell. My best friend, Danielle, is a Libra. And one of my friends is also a Libra. We just go, I don't know, like Libras are just like very sociable people. They they really like having, they're like, their friendships are always very like tight. They're turning to meteors and friend groups, but they're very helpful in that way. And they're also super like, sweet and caring because they want everyone to just be happy they want balance they want harmony and they will work for that in ways that are usually good so i like libras they're like one of my favorites for sure but I, i'm always jealous of them because they're always sort of like they just attract so many people because they have so much good energy and i fucking hate y'all for that like die like it's not fair people get away from me because i'm so fucking annoying I have no Libra in my charge, probably why. <laughs> but anyway, Libra is definitely above Taurus. I think they're like, they're kind of tied. I do like them both. Okay, after Libra though, is Scorpio. Um, if there is one sign that I hate almost as much as I hate Virgos, Scorpios. And here's why. <laughs> 
Scorpio men. Okay, actually, I'm gonna turn Scorpio girls first because I'm gonna get the good part out first and then I will rant for a few seconds because Scorpio men. Scorpio girls, they're usually actually kind of nice. They're usually, well, some of them are bitches. They pick up on details. They pick up on like little things about people that they either use for good or bad. So this is where the distinction comes in because girls in general, we're like, we're taught to be caring and nurturing. So like, let's say that someone picked up that I get quiet when I can tell no one's interacting with me like in a group of people. Like, like I'll try and talk in a group of people and then like no one will respond to me and I just kind of shut down. A Scorpio will notice that. And a Scorpio girl will like be like, hey, what were you gonna say guys? Listen to what she was gonna say. Scorpio girls are nice. They understand. They use little things to help people. Scorpio men. Scorpio men will ruin you. They don't give a fuck, okay? Because they know how to hurt people and they'll fucking do it. And I'm not saying it's because of, because of one Scorpio man, because I'm sure some of you guys know what Scorpio man I can be referring to, but there are several more who I have dealt with who are fucking crazy. Like, they, I think they thrive off of just controlling other people because once they know the little things about you, they can control you because they know the things that make you upset, they make you happy, they make you sad and they will control you and they won't feel remorse because they just, that's just their fucking talent. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I feel like there's some Scorpio women like this too because I mean, it is the same sign, but like they don't know when to just like stop being in charge because they think that like if they're not in charge, nothing is going right and everything's ruined and everyone else sucks and mm, they have giant egos. Anyway, I fucking hate Scorpios, but in between Aries and Virgo for sure because there's no way that I hate Virgos less than I hate Scorpios though. Okay, after Scorpio though is Sagittarius. Y'all are fucking annoying. Okay, Sagittarius are like really interesting people. They're always so fucking creative and like all, like free spirited. Like I admire Sagittarius so much. They're so fucking cool. Like they're oh my god. I know two Sagittarius girls who are just like so fucking creative and like interesting and not afraid at all to be themselves like they're, they're like really good artists and they're just oh they're so gorgeous too i just ah. Uh. but i feel like sagittarius have potential to be like really really cool but they never stop talking they're so fucking irritating i feel like sagittarius are like the fucking k-pop stands of the zodiac world like they're just so they will do the most but they're so irritating like can you literally sit down and just be quiet for like two minutes even one, like, oh, but I do like them. So I will probably put them right below Gemini. Cause I do like, actually above Gemini. I like creativity. So I admire Sagittarius more than I admire Gemini for that. I mean, not to say anybody who's a Gemini isn't creative. Cause I know a lot of creative Geminis, but I'm just saying Sagittarius people through the fucking roof with creativity. It's so crazy. After Sag comes Capricorn. Now I know that people can change. So, let me just say something really fast. I know everyone who knows me knows that, knows two things about me. One, that I have been known to hate Capricorns and two, that I am dating one. So, <laughs> now here's the thing. I know I've like met more Capricorns since I've gotten to college. I've met in like, met in, I've met for like four Capricorns and my opinion has changed. Cause I, I, like before I met these four Capricorns, I knew like, one or maybe two Capricorns and they were dumb as hell. Like they were just like stubborn ass bitches. Like, <laughs> like they were just like rude as hell. Like they give a fuck, insensitive, just irritating. And I was like, fuck Capricorns. And they're so fucking boring. Cause Capricorns are just like, very like, the stereotype is very like, um, hard work, mind on work, like workaholic. They're just fucking boring as shit. They just, I admire that for some reason because I think I have a lot of that in me, especially right now because I'm in debt and I play the lottery every day now and all I do is hustle. Um, I work extra hours at work now because I just mind on money. The Capricorns I've met have been very nice actually, but like not the nicest people ever. Like they'll be nice to a degree and then when you piss them off, they will, they don't give a fuck. But anyway, Capricorns, they're like chill. They're like good friends to have around, but they can't be your only friends. No, I mean, not to shit on my Capricorn buddies, because I know two of you are watching this, Dan and Alana. I love you both. You guys are just very headstrong people and you fit the stereotype, that's all. Anyway, so I have a Capricorn probably above Cancer, below Gemini. I used to like hate 
Capricorns so much because of high school, but then I met some nice Capricorns and things changed. Anyway, it's time for everyone's favorite sign, Aquarius! Because, you know, that's me. That's my yellow bra. Anyway, so Aquarius are my favorite sign, not because, well, I know I sound biased, but let me talk <laughs> for a second. First of all, we're rare. As far as I know, I've only met like two other Aquarius in my whole life. So it's like, where are you at? If you're an Aquarius, fucking talk to me because listen, bitch, I love Aquarius. Okay, first of all, I'm just really excited about Aquarius. We're like weird, but like it, it, it depends if you're evolved or not. Cause there's like a shitty kind of weird and there's like a cool kind of weird. I feel like I'm transitioning from the shitty to the cool. I hope that's all I can wish for. But like basically we get fixated on things that are like otherworldly, like space and like the occult and like life on other planets and like conspiracy theories and stuff like that. I don't know why. We just get really interested in those things and we like really just wanna like use our brains in ways that we can't before. Cause we're very, um, I think one of the most distinct traits of Aquarius is, is that we're so like unconventional. Like we will try to purposely do things that are away from the norm. Like we'll try and dress differently. We'll try and do our hair differently. We'll try and do different kinds of arts. We'll try to act differently in public. Like we're just like, we just want to be different. It's just like we have a calling for like individuality. But the thing about Aquarius is though is that we don't have fucking emotions. The problem is this. For Aquarius, our emotions are usually very suppressed because we just are convinced that like, oh, emotions are eh, whatever. I don't worry about emotions because like emotions are stupid and I'd rather go read a book about fucking Ted Bundy. But here's my dilemma. I have a cancer moon, so I have one of the least emotional signs as my sun and then one of the most emotional signs is my moon. And it's like, Grr! it's so fucking awful because it's like half of me is like feelings who? Another half is like, <laughs> you know? So that's pretty irritating and I don't like dealing with it. But anyway. Aquarius is going at the top of the list, not because I'm biased, but because Aquarius are fucking cool. We're fucking cool. We're really fucking cool. Huh. <sighs> and last, but probably least, Pisces. They're helpless and don't know what to do about it. <laughs> like every Pisces I know is in therapy. They're just, they're so fucking emotional and like so like everything overwhelms them. They just, they're, they, they're really bad at like self advocating because they're so soft spoken and so like, afraid or well that that's one kind of Pisces. there's definitely a distinct two but i'm gonna have the first one because there's the other one so the, the first kind of pisces is like my one of my friends and then my mother actually they're very like soft-spoken i don't know i feel bad for them they're, like not in a pitiful way but kind of like in a sympathy way they're also they're very dreamy and very idealistic like they i feel like a lot of my mother and my friend they both always dream of like their future like i, like, I want to go here and i want to do this and i want to date this person and we can get married and move to this country. Blah, 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 blah. But the other genre of Pisces are my least favorite fucking people in the world. Okay? And a few of you watching this video know of one of these fucking Pisces. Okay, my mom, my friend, for instance, very sweet, are aware that like, hey, I'm sad, hey, I'm happy, hey, I'm feeling this way, and like, hey, I have this issue and I can deal with it like this. Unevolved Pisces. They have issues that they are unaware of, don't want to deal with, will bottle up, and they will take it out on other people, make people feel bad. These kind of Pisces are fucking bullies. They are, they're the girls in high school who will tell you that your skirt is ugly and your mom is pregnant with her father's child. Like, they don't give a fuck because they feel so bad on the inside, they want to put it on somebody else. And we don't stand. We do not fucking stand. Anyway. So Pisces, I don't really like them, but also I, I have a soft spot for them. So maybe I'll put them above Cancer. Actually, uh, right above Capricorn. So, also I don't know how to fucking spell Pisces. I think it's like P-S-C-E-I-P-E-A-C-E-S. Anyways, so my final list is this. If you can get past the fact that Aquarius is on the top because I am one, that's not why we're just really cool. You, know, you fucking know we are. You know we are, bitch. But everything else is logical. So, from least favorable 
to the best fucking sign out of all the zodiac. Here we go. Virgo, Scorpios, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. If you have any disputes, please argue with me in the comments because I would like to have a conversation about any of these. If I offended you, then you're a bitch. Just want to say, no hard feelings to anybody who I'm friends with, because like this, I really, just want to put a disclaimer. I know that like zodiac signs are like very pseudo -science like nothing, they don't really prove much. Um, I don't, I obviously don't base my friendships on zodiac signs. Like none of this is supposed to be taken seriously. I'm just having a good time. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press the fucking like button because this summer I'm getting famous. You fucking watch because I need some fucking money. Can somebody sponsor me, please? Anyway, hit that subscribe button and press the like button and <laughs> follow me on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Twitter, at MySpace, add me on IMV. Anyway, um, thanks for tuning in and have a blessed day.